Welcome back. We are going to start with chapter 9 in engineering electromagnetics by Kate and Buck. Chapter 9 is time varying electromagnetic fields. Congratulations. This is a starting point for you for electromagnetic waves. Time varying electromagnetic fields is a starting point for the electromagnetic waves. In previous chapters, we studied electric field separately and magnetic field separately. Maybe in the case of the magnetic field, we related the magnetic field to the electric current, but not to the electric field. Starting from this chapter, we will see that both electric field and magnetic field are related to each other if they are time varying fields. Uh, the problem starts with an experiment for Faraday. <coughs> In this experiment, Faraday introduced a closed loop like this and uh, connected to a sensitive emitter. And he pushed a magnet inside this loop and then pulled this magnet. So, in this way, the magnetic field inside the loop was time varying by changing or moving this magnet bar. Faraday notices that when moving a magnet bar inside such a closed loop, there is instantaneous current appears in the emitter, and this instantaneous current is proportional to the velocity or the motion of this magnet bar with respect to this core. Also, it is proportional to the magnetic flux intensity of this magnetic bar. And it is proportional to which pole? Is it north or south? So, if it is north, the current would be in one direction. If it is in south, the current would be in the other direction. So, briefly say that for moving magnetic bar in a closed loop coil, uh, if a conducting loop connected to a sensitive meter, and because there is no battery or other sources of electromagnetic force included, there is no current in the circuit. This simple magnetic loop connected to the emitter, so there is no current at the beginning. Now, <coughs> If we move a bar magnet towards the loop, the current suddenly appears in the circuit. Suddenly, not continuously. This current disappears when the magnet stops. So, when we are moving the magnet towards the loop, we find sudden current. Once the magnet stops, the sudden current will stop. Now, if we then move the magnet away instead of in, away, a current again suddenly appears. But in this case, this current would be in the opposite direction. So, when we are moving the north towards the loop, we find its current, say, counterclockwise. When we move it, this north away from the loop, we find the current clockwise. So, in the opposite direction. And as we mentioned, this sudden current is not continuous current and it appears only when we are moving the magnet bar. A current appears only if there is a relative motion between the loop and the magnet. So maybe we can move the magnet, maybe we can move uh, the coil itself. But the problem is the relative motion between the magnet and the coil. So, one must move relative to the other. The current disappears when the relative motion between them ceases or finish. Faraday noticed that faster motion produces greater current. So, if we are moving this magnet bar in a faster motion or in a faster speed, we can obtain greater current. 
If moving the magnet north pole towards the loop causes say clockwise count, uh, current, if we are moving the north pole towards the loop, introducing current in the direction of clockwise, then moving the south will introduce the opposite. Then moving north away, so sorry, then moving north pole away instead of in causes counterclockwise start. And moving south pole toward will introduce counterclockwise. So effectively, this current depends on which poles and if the direction is inside the loop or outside the loop. And if the pole is constant, but we are reversing the direction, the current will be reversed. If the direction is constant, but we are reversing the pole, the current, the direction of the current will be reversed. The current produced in the loop is called induced current because it is induced due to the time varying magnetic field. And the work done by the unit charge to produce the current inside this loop is called induced electromagnetic force. And effectively, the unit of this induced electromagnetic force is the same as uh, the potential difference V. But the potential difference is due to fixed electric charges. If we have fixed electric charge, so if we are moving a point of charge between fixed electric charge, the electric potential. But in this case, this induced, it is not permanent, it is induced electromagnetic force. And it is induced due to the time varying magnetic field. This process is known, the, the process of producing this current and electromagnetic force is called induction or magnetic induction. And it is based on time varying magnetic field inside a closed loop to introduce or to, in, uh, to induce uh, electromagnetic force. Another way to introduce or to induce electromagnetic force by time varying magnetic field is that if we have two circuits, one circuit connected to a voltage source and the other circuit is without any voltage source. So the current in the other circuit should be zero. But when we are switching on the first circuit, then the current passing through this circuit will introduce magnetic flux. And this magnetic flux is linked to the second circuit. And because there is no magnetic flux at the beginning, so by switching on the switch, there will be time varying magnetic flux in the instantaneous of switching on. So, this time varying magnetic flux, when would be linked to the other circuit, there will be induced electromagnetic force in the second circuit and induced current. If this circuit is already switched on and there is permanent current here, and subsequently there is permanent magnetic flux coming from the circuit one, then we switch it off the circuit, so the flux disappear. Means disappear, this rate of a change of the magnetic flux, this rate of a change will introduce another electromagnetic force in the, sec in the second circuit. But in this case, the induced electromagnetic force will be opposite to the direction to when we are switching on. So, that we are seeing, induction between closed coils. If you have two conducting loops close to each other, but not touching, and if we close switch S to turn on current in the right hand loop, then the meter in the second loop suddenly and briefly register current. This is due to an induced current in the left hand loop. Now, if we then open the switch, 
instead of turning on, turning off. If we then open the switch, another sudden and brief induced current appears in the left hand loop, but in the opposite direction. So, the first current due to the increase of the electromagnetic flux, the second current is due to the decrease of the magnetic flux. So, we can conclude that we get an induced current and subsequently induced electromagnetic force only when the current in the right hand loop is changing. So, if the current in the right hand loop is changing, the induced magnetic flux in the right hand loop would be a changing flux, so there would be rate of a change with respect to time. So the rate of a change or with respect to time will introduce electromagnetic force in the left loop. So only when the current in the right hand loop is a change. Either turning on or turning off. Or it can also be by sweeping. So assume that we have a variable resistor here and we are changing this variable resistor continuously so changing the current continuously so by changing the current continuously we are changing the flux continuously uh, this induced the current does not appear when it is constant current so when the current is constant even it is a va large value of the current but this constant there is no Induced electromagnetic force in the second circuit at all. So, once again, we say that we get an induced current only when the current in the right hand loop is changing and not when it is constant. Okay? So, this experiment was done by uh, Faraday, and according to these experiments, Faraday introduced his law, which is known as Faraday's law, which cover or which uh, govern the relation between the induced electromagnetic force in a closed loop with a time varying magnetic field inside this loop. This is what we will see in the following video. Okay? Right.